We will discuss here capacitors connected in series. First, we will take three series connected capacitors as shown here. Let us assume that C1, C2 and C3 are the capacitance of the capacitors respectively. Here the source will get single path to pass current. Same charging current will flow through each of the capacitors. As the current through each capacitor is the same, the rate of charge accumulation will also be the same. Since current is nothing but rate of change of quantity of charge with respect to time. That is, I equals to dQ dt. Let us consider after time t seconds, charging of the system is completed. Hence, the total charge accumulated in capacitor of capacitance C1 is integral of dQ dt from 0 to t. Similarly, Total charge accumulated in capacitor of capacitance C2 is integral of dQ dt from 0 to t and total charge accumulated in capacitor of capacitance C3 is integral of dQ dt from 0 to t. So we have seen that charge accumulated in each capacitor connected in the series is the same. And let us say it is Q Coulomb. Now, as per fundamental rule of circuit theory, it is obvious that the sum of the voltage drop across individual capacitor is nothing but the supply voltage of the system. That means V equals to V1 plus V2 plus V3, where V1, V2, and V3 are the voltage drop across C1, C2, and C3 respectively. V is the supply voltage. Again, as formula V1 equals to Q by C1, V2 equals to Q by C2, and V3 equals to Q by C3. So it can be written that V equals to Q by C1 plus Q by C2 plus Q by C3, which equals to Q into, within bracket, 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. If we assume equivalent capacitance of the system is C, then supply voltage V will be Q into 1 by C. From these two equations, we get 1 by C equals to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3. Hence, reciprocal of capacitance of all capacitors connected in series will be just sum of reciprocal of individual capacitance connected in series. Hope you got a clear idea. Thank you.